This morning, historic February wildfires scorching parts of the Southern Plains, forcing the governor of Texas to issue disaster declarations in more than 60 counties. The heat and heavy winds fueling the flames in the Texas Panhandle. One fire quadrupled in size in just 24 hours, burning an area more than seven times the size of Washington, D.C. Get out of there. Let's pull out. We got too many spots. More than 40 homes damaged in Fritch, Texas. Residents told to evacuate now. Just outside Amarillo, the country's primary nuclear weapons facility, pausing operations as the fire raged nearby. The city of Canadian, northeast of Amarillo, was surrounded by fire. Anyone who had not evacuated was told to shelter in place. Head back. We're just going to have to regroup. We can't, we can't stop it. The fires crossing into Oklahoma, prompting more evacuations. Farther north in Nebraska, this fire erupting in the summer-like heat. But overnight, a powerful storm front triggering weather whiplash. Temperatures plunging in some areas from the mid-80s to the mid-20s in a matter of hours. St. Louis dropping from 86 degrees to 26. The storm triggering at least four suspected tornadoes outside of Chicago, downing trees and ripping roofs and facades off buildings. And welcome back to my Shadow Band YouTube channel. Well, there's another uh, fire going on in the Texas panhandle. Uh, over 500,000 acres of fire burning, and apparently it's pushing its way to uh, Oklahoma. Uh, this is just another one of their planned agendas to destroy our uh, farms, to destroy our land, and to push us into certain areas so they can get us where they want us. Right now, in my state, we have a wind advisory so it's clear they're ramping up these winds so they can use that as their scapegoat to say oh well it was it was windy and someone was having a, a cookout and the fire blew and it blah 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 blah. you know they, they they build these things up so they have excuses to explain away how these fires are created and what's going on so they can destroy farms so they can destroy you know kill animals in these in these fires and to destroy land and to push people out and to get them where they want them to be this is just like what we saw in Maui like the Ohio thing when that incident blew up we had a fire even in my area supposedly from a derailed train you know because trains just derail you haven't heard that about the derailed trains in a while so i guess that that narrative's done they you know use that that one to get a couple uh, pieces of destruction out there already so now they're on to the new thing now it's just the the climate change hoax and the winds are so strong that they're carrying these fires all of a sudden you know someone is having a barbecue in their backyard and the wind blows and all of a sudden over 500,000 acres of fire is just scorched and you know <laughs> it's like Maui uh it's like this centralized fire and you know we see like things like cars are burnt to dust metal frames from cars like that is even possible from a fire the it would not burn the metal away like that. A regular fire it would be left behind. So that is bull crap. But we know that there's uh, they're drinking a lot of Mountain Dew out there. There's definitely um, I'm trying to use code because you never know what there's you know what they're reading and what is what is getting flagged now on on YouTube. You know, but uh, I think that has a lot to do with Mountain Dew. Uh, if you don't know what I mean, you can look up uh, D E W Dew. Uh, it stands for direct something something, uh, and you can kind of look it up with Maui, and you can kind of find out what they're doing. But this is all planned agenda, and they're going to continue this crap all summer long, just like they did last summer. They had fires all summer, like the ridiculous Calif uh, not California, um, Canada wildfires, how the, the whole entire... Um, Canada, I don't know much about Canada, Montreal or Toronto or one of those places where the mountains were on fire, whatever. And here in New Jersey, we had uh, yellow skies just filled with smoke, all filled in the skies. Like, that is such baloney that that fire would carry all the way here. And the smoke didn't even smell like smoke. It smelled like burning plastic. So we know exactly what they're doing, and this is all planned. It's all part of the agenda to destroy farms, to destroy food supply, to kill animals, and to get us where they want us so they can 
push us into these cities that they're creating so they can control every facet of our lives. You know, when, when the time comes and we're getting very close to their their final curtain that they're going to pull down when this is all done, where they're going to control every one of us, and that's why they are trying to destroy things to keep us divided with the left and right crap so that way we can never come together and fight against this. That's what all this is about. And there's still people, I see people in comments, I was just skimming through the YouTube shorts and I saw something, I can't remember what it was about, but people were going back and forth about um, jobs, you know, job, hard to find jobs in the economy. And they're, oh, well, if you didn't vote Democrat and blah, 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 your vote does not count. Your vote never counted. It is a simulated reality that we live in. It's all created by them. We are living in one giant play. And they're playing out their own stories. It's like The Simpsons, how people say that The Simpsons predicted, like I saw another one, uh, I think it was that idiot Joe Rogan. It came up in my feed. Oh, he's The, the Simpsons showed him coming down the escalator, waving, putting his hand up, and they showed uh, scene next to scene. And, uh, you know, I was thinking, just thinking this in my own head, like, do you not get it? It's not that they're predicting it. The Simpsons didn't predict anything. This is scripted. They're just, it's predictive programming. It's part of it to get us conditioned to accept these things. It's all subliminal crap. And this is all part of the show. It's all staged. And these freaks that make The Simpsons, they're all part of it. They're all in that club. They're all Masonic, Satanic losers, all of them. But anyway, just wanted to report on this. We're going to be seeing more of this stuff. Be careful in your area. I every time I see win, winter weather advisory for um, not winter weather, uh, wind weather advisory, I, my red flag signals go off in my head to put on my survival cap because you never know w what they're planning with those things. Oh well, the winds are so high. A guy threw a cigarette, and now everyone's being evacuated in a fire. You know, they, this is how quickly they do those things. Like in Texas, apparently all these people are being evacuated, and it's spreading just like they did with all the previous things that they've done, and it's all part of the plan. But anyway, thank you so much for listening. Have yourselves a great day, and I will see you soon. Bye bye.